Hey guys, so I'm back with a hair tutorial. This hair tutorial is so easy, so simple. Somebody did request it a few months ago. I'm kind of embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie, but I promised her that I would post it and here I am. So this hair tutorial is gonna be just a front braid from one side just to make yourself look a little more put together because I'm gonna show you guys on the daily what I look like every single day of my life. Hence the reason why I came up with this hairstyle that I've been doing for a long time. I think even back when I was in high school. So most of the time, as you guys can see, my hair is pretty long. Okay. Now because I do have bleached hair, which makes it extremely knotty and like dry and damaged. Uh, being a mom to three kids and just being busy in general, like I have to use hot tools to make it look nice. So most of the time you'll find me with a low pony, a bun which can get kind of boring, and this is pretty much what I look like, or a high bun, you know, just the usual messy look. So I kind of got bored of it, and I feel like everybody always thinks I never brush my hair when I do that. So I came up with this little side braid, which I'm sure a lot of people do it, but that's just the way I do it. I'm going to show you guys. It's, it's a side part, because this is pretty much the only design you're going to have going on in your head. Your head. So I just kind of like pick um, how much hair I want up to the ear so this is pretty much it so the rest I will just grab in a ponytail to hold it to make it easier while I braid my hair now I am gonna be using gel just because I have a lot of frizz like I said a lot of damage um, sometimes I honestly if it's like two minutes before I'm walking out the door and I decide that my hair looks too crazy to go out in public I won't put any product but if I can grab some gel or something to tame this down, then go for it. Alright guys, so this is the way I braid it, okay? Putting the leftover on this side. All you're going to need pretty much besides the gel, you don't really need it. It's some little tiny rubber bands, like super tiny. And I like to have some bobby pins. You'll see why at the so end. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of first show you guys how I do it without talking because it's a little complicated and then I'll go over step by step just so you guys can get an idea so I take a piece split in three and then I pick up from the front I'm doing this so you guys can get an idea of how I do it with my hands because it is a little weird that I'm put this one over Ahead, but this is what works for me and I mean you guys did a crest how I did my hair right so I'm showing you how I do it so this is pretty much what it looks like so it's just a small braid like that okay now I'm gonna go ahead and go step by step now you guys saw how fast I did that um, this is why this is like a lifesaver hairstyle before leaving the house and you want to look a little put together so I'm going to zoom in the camera and hopefully can explain this to you a little closer. Okay. So once you have your hair ready, you're going to pick about, I want to say an inch or an inch and a half like this. Okay. Now this part, you're going to make it into three because we are doing a braid. So what I do is I just take this first part and then just split this part with my fingers. So now I'm going to start the braid, okay? So what I do is I take this section and go under the middle one. I take it to the right. And then I'm going to grab this first part and grab it with my fingers. And this is where I start grabbing for the braid. So I'm going to grab a little section from the, the first section. And we're only going to be picking up from the front for this hairstyle. So I picked up the section and I put it with the middle part. So now, okay, I'm gonna go over, okay. And then again, I'm just gonna grab from the front. And then again, I'm just gonna grab from the front. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. 
regular braid and then grabbing from the front and then just under and over and then I always like to check how much hair I have left so this is it so I'm gonna grab just this final piece of hair grab it and put it with this this section here so I'm gonna put it under grab it and then just over and under okay so this is pretty much what it looks like and I don't like to keep braiding it I like to grab a rubber band and stop it there so I'm gonna grab a this is like an arm workout, holding it. So I'm just gonna grab a little rubber band, and I'm going to just put the elastic. Now this one did end up a little higher. Actually, I want it to go lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. So you just carefully have to, if you know how to braid, this is a lot easier. But because I do want it to go a little lower, I'm gonna, that last piece, I split it in half. So you just go under and over. There we go. So now you guys are gonna see the difference. Therefore, so this one you should end up with. And then because this is such a fast, you just wanna get out of the house and look put together, the rest with the rest of the hair what I do is I just pull this back with it okay just a pony sometimes I do a pony but more than likely I will do a bun so all I do is wrap my hair up in a bun nothing crazy just a bun just like a little you can even pull it out to make it look cuter like a little messier okay so you see some hair sticking out I see that so this is where the bobbies the bobbies the bobby pins come in handy just a regular bobby pins so this is pretty loose here see this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pin it so I'm gonna grab it from right here I'm gonna slide this bobby pin under the braid Just like that, and you see, it's not there anymore. Have another piece here. So all you're gonna do for that is, let's see, where does this go? So this goes behind the braid. So I'm gonna just grab this little piece, clips up that sticking out piece, and just you clip it just behind the braid. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of gel everywhere else, or I just wanna make it a little neater but that's it guys so this is the hair tutorial I'm gonna try to put the light so you guys can see the braid this is the braid yes. I mean such an easy look to do and just to make it look more put together because this is so much better than um, just having my hair the same way every single day it kind of gets boring and it gets repetitive and then I feel like presentation wise people must be like geez you never comb your hair I'll show you guys the back nothing great literally just a bun just to just to pick it up but yeah thank you for requesting this video I don't remember who you are but um, I'm sorry it's a little late but at least I put it up right better late than never <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you guys next time Bye. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Give it a. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. We should tell them. We need to tell you guys to follow our vlog channel. I have a family vlog channel. If you guys aren't subscribed, go check it out. Yeah. Link will be down in the description yeah. box, right? Oh, and they should follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. Same name as this channel. What else should we tell them? What else should we tell them? Yeah, that those are cool lights.